Hi everyone, this is Dr. Eric again from Epigenetal Practice. In this video, I'm going to talk to you a bit more about the reason for brushing our teeth and I'll tell you why. And that's to remove plaque. The food stuff that doesn't get swallowed usually gets stuck in between the nooks and crannies of our teeth. But so what? It's just food, right? Unfortunately, the mouth has lots of bugs and bacteria. These things here. Uh, and in the mouth, this is what we call plaque. This type of soft, mushy plaque makes the gums go red, swollen, and sometimes painful because it reacts to the nasty bacteria in it. So when this happens, we call this gum disease or gingivitis. So let's give you some tips on what I look for during your checkup. Uh, usually, it's with a blunt probe like this. Yep. Uh, so the first thing I do with my blunt probe is scrape around the teeth to see if there's any plaque around the gums. The next one is red and swollen gums. Healthy gums are usually pink and firm, but unhealthy gums are normally red and swollen. And we know there is a problem by just touching with my blunt probe and it will make them bleed as well. The next is if I see calculus or tartar on your teeth. Calculus almost always accumulates behind the bottom of your front teeth. So if you want to impress your dentist, make sure you clean this part of your teeth during your regular brushing. So here are some tips to make me say, wow, Mr. Jones, you've done a really, really good job with your cleaning this time. Don't just clean the smooth surface of your teeth. We always clean this surface very well because we don't want to get uh, stains accumulating from our coffee and tea. We want to get pearly white teeth. But for the health of your gums, plaque usually accumulates on the gum margin. Uh, this is where the gums meet the teeth. Just remember, it's where the pink meets the white. I always get the comment from patients that they now brush less because they find that the gums are bleeding. But in fact, they should be brushing a bit more because remember, the cause of bleeding is from swollen gums, from plaque. The more effective you are at your brushing the plaque away, the less it will bleed. But of course, make sure that you get your teeth checked or your gums checked to make sure that it's not just the gums causing the problem. Okay, so if you're not sure that you're cleaning the right spots enough, use a plaque disclosing tablet. Uh, these are really helpful for the kids especially uh, to know whether they've missed out on their brushing or not. The next one is to use an electric toothbrush. This is one of the best inventions ever made for the health of your gums and teeth. Uh, it's got a small head, it uh, gets into the tight spots uh, easier and it uses less force on your teeth as well. The new ones have timers, it's got pressure sensors, it monitors the way you brush your teeth, uh, it's even got Bluetooth to connect to your phone. So I hope that this video helped you understand what plaque does to your gums and why you have to remove it as much as possible. Uh, if you thought this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and if you've got any comments or questions, it would be great to put it down so that we can discuss uh, it below. Mm -hmm.